If you want to see the world's biggest desert, you must go to Africa. The Sahara, a subtropical desert in northern Africa and one of the most challenging areas on Earth, is well known for its vast dune fields. The Sahara has become a revered source and contains solutions to various ancient mysteries for the inhabitants of this area who have lived near it. As new methods and technologies are developed, in the scientific community, more secrets are being uncovered under the barren sand. Some of these revelations are horrifying and have the potential to rewrite the trajectory of human history fundamentally. Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia are all covered by the Sahara. It encompasses 9 million square kilometers, or 31% of Africa. If all regions with a mean annual precipitation of less than 250 millimeters were included, the Sahara would cover 11 million square kilometers. It runs from the Red Sea in the east towards the Atlantic Ocean in the west, and from the Mediterranean Sea in the north to the Sahel in the south. The desert is notable for its immense dunes, rocky plateaus, and severe temperatures. The Sahara is the world's hottest desert, having one of the toughest temperatures. The average yearly temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, with the highest recorded temperature being 58 degrees Celsius. The region gets minimal rain. In fact, half of the Sahara Desert receives less than an inch of rain each year. Despite popular belief, temperatures in the Sahara drop drastically at night owing to a lack of humidity and may reach lows of negative 6 degrees Celsius. Snow occurs on many mountain ranges on a regular basis, but nowhere else in the Sahara. The Sahara is much more than sand. In reality, the bulk of the Sahara is composed of barren, rocky plateaus, salt flats, sand dunes, mountains, and arid valleys. Except for the Nile, all rivers and streams in the Sahara are seasonal. Despite the harsh and arid conditions of the Sahara, the region is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the Sahara is home to 500 plant species, 70 mammal species, 90 bird species, 100 reptile species, and numerous spiders, scorpions, and other small arthropods. Several human civilizations have also existed in the desert throughout millennia, centering their lives on oases and trade. The ancient Egyptian, Libyan, Berber, and Tuareg are examples of Saharan societies. The Sahara Desert was also crucial in trans-Saharan trade routes. The primary commodities transported via the desert were salt, gold, and enslaved people. These trade routes were critical to connecting the Mediterranean world with sub-Saharan Africa and played an essential role in economic and cultural communication between these regions. Following the military colonization of the Sahara by several European colonial powers, a comprehensive investigation took place. And by the end of the 19th century, the basic characteristics of the desert were understood. Political, economic, and scientific operations that started in the 20th century substantially enhanced our understanding of the Sahara, yet enormous swathes of the desert remain inaccessible. However, numerous major discoveries have been found in the Sahara Desert throughout the years. Many discoveries have aided our understanding of the region's history and civilizations. Nonetheless, they have thrown into doubt what we previously thought to be true about the region. Let's get a couple of them started. In the spring of 2020, an extraordinary relic was uncovered in a distant corner of the Sahara Desert, a highly uncommon fragment of a pre-Earth planet. The meteorite ERG Check 002, commonly known as EC002, developed under the crust of an old protoplanet, a tiny celestial body that serves as a building component for planets. According to research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the volcanic space rock is the earliest known lava that has ever fallen to Earth and gives a distinct look into planetary formation in the early solar system. Scientists led by Jean-Alex Barat, a geochemistry professor at the University of Western Brittany in France, jumped at the chance to examine this extraordinary time capsule from the solar system's infancy, which belongs to the endocytic family of volcanic rocks and is unlike anything else ever seen. Barat and his colleagues were aware of the EC002's potential age based on past studies from the time they received the initial reports of this rock. On another unusual and acidic meteorite detailed in a 2014 research, age was not the only factor they were interested in. They were attracted by the genesis of such alien and acidic melting and also sought to discover the process of primordial crust creation. 
Under the sands of the desert is where an ancient mega lake once stood. Scientists have uncovered evidence that an old mega lake once existed under the Sahara Desert sands. The Nile River inundated the eastern Sahara around 250,000 years ago as it surged through a low channel close to Wadi Tushka. This created a lake that, at its peak height, spanned more than 42,000 square kilometers of land. A lesser lake rose 623 feet above sea level and traveled 18,600 square miles in the Sahara Desert, while the size of the mega lake climbed 810 feet above sea level and encompassed 42,000 square miles. Ted Maxwell, a geologist working for the National Air and Space Museum, and his colleagues discovered, while analyzing radar data from Egypt that had been gathered as part of the Space Shuttle Radar Topography mission, the photos of wind-blown sediments, sediments formed by moving water, and bedrock that was detected by radar under the desert sand, were used by geologists to piece together the shape of an ancient mega lake. Because of Egypt's high aridity, the radar identified unique subsurface structures and buried waterways up to 50 feet below the country's surface. The Kasabian Oasis is Egypt's most southern oasis. It is located along one of the ancient waterways geologists identified using topography data obtained from space shuttle flights. The water is now between 6.5 and 9.5 feet under the surface, and the ground was only just tilled to be ready for melon growing. Archaeological sites were also found by examining fossil fish discovered in deposits roughly 250 miles west of the Nile and 810 feet above sea level. The scientists also discovered that Paleolithic human sites in Salima and Talfawi in Egypt correlate to a lake covering around 42,000 square kilometers. This is because the communities decided to remain near the water. A distinct series of archaeological sites near Bir Kasiba, 93 miles west of the Nile, revealed a second lower level of the lake and 623 feet above sea level, covering an area of around 18,600 square miles. The geologists also computed the extent of the second lake by measuring the height of the Tushka Channel, which previously delivered Nile water into the desert. According to the researchers, the newly found lakes contribute to the mounting evidence of several early and middle Pleistocene lakes throughout North Africa that might have supported human movement patterns. The results were reported in the December 2010 edition of the journal Geology as evidence for Pleistocene lakes in the Tushka area of South Egypt. Now let's talk about the weird prehistoric crocodiles that swam the Sahara and were almost the size of a bus. Paleontologists investigating Tunisia discovered the world's most enormous sea-dwelling crocodile, previously unknown to science. This ancient crocodile is reportedly more than 30 feet long and weighs 3 tons. The skull by itself is more than 5 feet long. Researchers named the newly discovered species Macamosaurus rex. The crocodile was characterized as huge by lead author Federico Fanti from the University of Bologna. It's massive. He went on to say that it's nearly as large as a bus. Fanti and his colleagues found the fossils buried under a few inches of dirt on the edge of the Sahara Desert, Tunisia, a nation rich in fossils, with the assistance of the National Geographic Society Committee of Research and Exploration. This area was most likely a lagoon facing the ocean. Researchers also uncovered fish and turtle remains, which they are presently attempting to identify. According to Fanti, M. rex might have hunted in the water and been an ambush predator or scavenger. According to Fanti, comparing M. rex to other crocodiles with big heads and small teeth shows that M. rex had a very extremely tremendous biting force that enabled it to shatter its meal. Turtles, for example, would have made a delicious meal. The M. rex joins three other crocodile species discovered by another scientist in the Sahara, Crocs with snouts and other characteristics similar to modern-day animals spawn nicknames such as Super Croc, which weighed 8 tons, Boar Croc, Pancake Croc, Rat Croc, Dog Croc, and Duck Croc. This finding is remarkable for reasons other than its size. It doubts previous beliefs about ancient life. The crocodile group of M. rex was assumed to have gone extinct approximately 150 million years after the Jurassic period. Nevertheless, this M. rex thrived around 130 million years ago. If you thought M. rex was terrifying, be ready for something worse because this next discovery will shatter your mind. Scientists have discovered a fossil of a four-legged whale with raptor-like eating habits. In Egypt's Sahara Desert, a team led by Egyptian scientists uncovered a 43 million year old fossil of a now extinct amphibious four-legged whale. Yes, you heard right, a whale with legs. According to the authors of the research, this creature's skull had specific characteristics and its mandible shows a proclivity for more efficient oral mechanical processing. To put it another way, these walking whales were raptorial feeders. According to Abdullah Goha, one of the experts, they discovered how vicious and lethal its gigantic fangs can rend a variety of animals. 
Most of the animals that lived in its proximity worshipped this whale as a deity of death. It was around 3 meters in length and weighed around 600 kilos. The new whale was called Phyomycetus Anubis after Anubis, the Egyptian deity associated with mummification and the afterlife. It was most likely a top predator at the time, similar to what a killer whale is now. The creature, which is thought to be an ancestor of the modern whale, lived 43 million years ago. Although it is not the first walking whale fossil discovered, it is one of the oldest from the Fayum Depression region. It resulted in a semi-aquatic existence on both land and sea. According to Hesham Salam, professor of paleontology at Mansoura University and American University in Cairo, this is the first time in the history of Egyptian vertebrate paleontology that an Egyptian team is leading documentation of a new genus and species of four-legged whale that lived here 43 million years ago. These are only a few instances, but the Sahara Desert is responsible for discovering many more significant things throughout the years. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. We'll come up with another video with astonishing discoveries made by scientists. Till then, stay healthy.